Hi language lovers. Today I'm going to answer a question from one of my students which is what is the difference between have and have got? Okay so they mean the same thing but you use them in different circumstances. Have is more formal, have got is more informal. You would probably use have with people you don't know very well, you use have got with friends and family or people your own age. It's not strict at all and it really doesn't matter in most cases which one you use. There would be some sometimes when you should use um, have, have and not have got and I'll explain that. Okay, so ultimately I have and I have got mean exactly the same thing. I have a car, I have got a car. It's, it's the same. Okay. Um, sometimes you have to use got, like uh, yesterday I got tattooed. Um, you can't really say yesterday I was tattooed because it sounds like you're not tattooed anymore. So that's one exception that I can think of is when you have to use got and it's also used in a slightly different way. But we're talking today about when do you use have and when do you use have got. Okay, so I have got brown hair. I have brown hair. It's much more natural to say I've got brown hair. Um, I have brown hair just sounds a bit formal. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I have a car. I have got a car. But you wouldn't say I have got a car. You'd say I've got a car. Okay, so here's an example where you might need to use got. Okay, imagine there's a group of people and someone wants to know if someone has a car. They need to get to the next town. So they ask their group of friends, does anyone have a car? Or has anyone got a car? And their friends say, no, 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 I don't have one. And then you say, oh, I've got a car. The fact that you're saying got is emphasizing that you are the one with the car. Your friends don't have one, but you have got one. So we sometimes use got for emphasis, but again, uh, there would be no confusion in meaning if you didn't use it. Okay, so now I'd like to show an example of how it works in formal circumstances. So imagine you live in between two neighbors. So there's you in the middle and you have an elderly couple who lives here and a young couple who lives here. You don't know the elderly couple very well, but you know the young couple really well. And you want to put a picture on your wall, but you need to drill a hole to put the picture up. You need to borrow a drill. So you go around to your friends next door who you know well, and you say, hey, have you got a drill I can borrow? And they don't have one. They say, no, we don't. We haven't got one, sorry. So you have to go next door to the elderly couple that you don't know very well. And this is where the formal question would come in. So you'd knock on the door and you'd say, hi, I was wondering, do you have a drill I can borrow? And the nice old man would say, yes, of course you can. Of course you can borrow a drill. So that's the difference. Um, you could say to your neighbor, have your elderly neighbor, have you got a drill? But it might sound a little bit too friendly. If you don't know them well, it's, it might sound too friendly. So people you don't know, you don't, you know, stay away from got, um, but I don't want you to be worried about it because ultimately they mean the same thing and it's not a big issue. It's just if you want to sound really polite and formal, you can use have, have, uh, do you have? And if you're much more friendly with your friendly neighbors, you would say, have you got? Okay, I hope that helps with the confusion between when to use have and have got. Um, if you have any questions, please write in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you saw and the notification bell up here will let you know when my next video is published. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.